In the last video, we talked about adding data fields to our app so that we can specify all the information that we want to include within our app. We came down here into the build section and we added all of these different data fields. In this video, we're going to go over the type section when building an app. And really, if I click down on this list here, what this is for is this is if you would like to create an event-based app. Now, normally I would recommend creating an entire app for meetings, but you might have an app, say in this case we have our projects app, and let's say every time a project is added, we need a meeting for that project to go over it, to go over the requirements and the feasibility and all that sort of thing. So down here in the type section, I can change this app from a standard app, which is the default Podio app, to an event app. And when I click on this radio dial, you'll notice that this box pops up and it tells me what a meeting app is all about. We can add attendees to a list to see who's coming to the event. They'll get notified of the meeting or if the time changes, anything like that. And then there is actually an API connection with GoToMeeting so that people can be inside of Podio taking a look at the meeting within an app and they can click directly to the GoToMeeting link to participate in that meeting. So, you know, we could hit next in this box here. And then it asks us, since we've already added a number of fields to this app, it asks us which fields we want to associate with our meeting. So you can see our date field will be the date of the meeting. The contact field would be where all the attendees are listed. The location is where the meeting is located. And then the text field in this example, it would just be the project title, would be used to name the meeting. Now, in this scenario, all of these fields are related to our project. We know that this is the due date of the project. This is the contact field of the owner of the project. And the location, we just added that in our example so we could see how it works. And then the last one is the project title. So if I were going to use this meetings function, I might want to go back in and add another contact field and call it attendees so that this contact field would be the owner of the app. And then I would have another field that I could use called attendees for my meeting. Same thing goes with date. This is the due date of the actual project. I could enter another date field and I could name it meeting date. And that way we could specify to link this date of this meeting with our meeting field. So like I mentioned earlier in this video series, Podio is so customizable that you really have a lot of options when creating events. So if I go ahead and I click finish on this, every time a new data item is added, to this app. So if somebody goes out and they fill out a new project, a meeting is automatically going to be scheduled and all the people that were added into the contact field will be invited. By default, the meeting will be called project title. It's going to have the due date. Like I said, we'd probably want to add another field for that, but you can really get creative with this meeting aspect of Podio so that you can integrate your meetings right in with your data. So, you know, this is only one example with the projects, but maybe we have a new hire app. Every time a new employee is hired, it cre we, we enter it here in Podio, we enter their name, their department, all of that sort of thing, and then maybe it automatically creates a new hire orientation meeting for that new hire so that they can you know get acclimated to the organization. So you can really get creative with this. Um, definitely try and make use of this meeting field. If you've got an app in Podio that when you add items, you're going to need a meeting for that item, go ahead and integrate it so that it's automatic so that somebody doesn't have to think, oh yeah, we added a new employee, now we have to go ahead and set up that meeting. If you integrate the meeting into the app, then it'll all happen at once and it just reduces data loss, reduces confusion, and increases organizational efficiency. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to go over this interaction section of creating apps here in Podio.